afternoon everybody welcome back and uh, thank you for joining me um i'm out near uh, i've just got off the train at brampton which is kind of where i got off the train when i did uh talking fell no, not so long ago my plan is today i'm just heading up towards holborn gate and then uh i'm gonna walk through the rspb Geltsdale that's just past there and then head up towards goldfell um i'm not gonna walk it all tonight uh, it's about what Four, half four in the afternoon now so the plan is um i'm gonna camp up at well i'll get a decent sunset some nice views and uh, my dad's gonna come up and meet us in the morning and uh what the rest of the fell we've talked about doing this for a long time it's about 650 meters up i think cold fell uh it's been dry for a good number of days now so hopefully it shouldn't be too boggy but we'll see we'll see it is a pennines <laughs> Looks like this is where I come off the road. Well, that didn't last long before I was back to some road walking. I think I pretty much followed the path up this way and then turn left and head round the back of the forest and then I'll start going up from there. You may notice if you've watched uh, past videos, the camera quality is a bit different. Um, yeah, I was getting a bit annoyed with the camera I was using. It's very old. Uh, so that's what I'm using now to be fair, but I'm just using an old iPhone I had, um, I've just stripped it down just to use as a camera, so yeah, uh, see when it comes to the edit, if it's any better I suppose. There's the end goal in the morning. Just approaching a uh, whole bank gate there. I don't know if you can see the sign in the distance. So yeah, I just need to find my way around, around here, into that forest, I think there, and then the path must just start going all the way up here. She will find somewhere nice to camp. I just want a nice view. Tell you what, from here, it really doesn't look that high up. I must have already done quite a bit of elevation. That's where we turn off. Look at that, straight uphill. Starting to get some beautiful views already. Zoom in a bit so you can see. Over to Scotland. Cheviots and the Langham Hills. Beautiful. I'm back out that way in um, the week after next for a few days. Looking forward to that one. So quiet around here. I've only seen one person since the south. So Cold Fell is actually the, um, the most northern fell in England. Obviously, base of its height. But yeah, yeah. Um, Really looking forward to get up to the top. I think the views are going to be amazing. See so right out to the Solway, Scotland side, obviously. Should be able to see the lakes. Beautiful. Just hope it doesn't get too cloudy. <laughs> I've got some friends joining us. Oh, it's looking nice down here. We somewhere between the water here. And I'm gonna say around here where I'm gonna camp. I don't know. I'm just just a nice spot. That's all I want. Just stopped for my first little rest of um of the walk. I've been walking for an hour or so now. Um, I'm just at a crossroads where I'm not entirely sure if I go left or right. I, can, well, I know I can go both ways, but camping wise, I'm not sure which is the best way to go. So I can go this way to, towards Howgill or that way, which is, I think it's like a woodland, a woodland path. 
that leads right up the side of the fell. This one will be shorter but steeper. This one will be longer, I think. Um, yeah, I can't decide. So I'm going to have a look at my maps anyhow and try and work out which will be the nicest route um, with the best camping looking spot. Just seeing the farmer come down on his quad. Apart from that, just literally one other person on a bike. It's so quiet. Nothing like the lakes on either side. So I picked the uh, the Howgill way, so I came up from where I was last um, and there's like a little visitor centre down the bottom, so I used the facilities there and then there was an arrow pointing up towards a wooden route which just seemed to go straight up which is pretty much following a path like this. It's quite fun really. But um, yeah, that little peak you can see there, I can't remember what the name of it is but it's a, it's a viewpoint on the map so I'm thinking if I get up there um, and just see what if I can pitch a tent anywhere flat up there. See, it looks like the view will be incredible. Look at that. Amazing. So yeah, I'll bash on for a bit more and uh, hopefully bring you back when I get to that top up there. I've picked my spot. Look at this. I think I'm about 400 odd metres up now, so I've got another 200 and something to go in the morning with my dad. So yeah, that'll be following the path up there. Um, but yeah, <laughs> look at this, I'm going to get a beautiful sunset as it comes down this way. I'm going to get the tent set up anyhow and then um, probably get some food and I'm quite hungry. So I found the worst thing about using this iPhone, the battery does not last on it at all. So yeah, I've got um, got it on charge now. Um, I'll get a, load of, uh, get a load of charge into it and then I should be able to use it again, hopefully. I've got about an hour and a half of uh, daylight left, so I should be able to get some nice shots of the, uh, the sun going down if it doesn't stay too cloudy. We'll see though, we'll see. It's a beautiful view though, it really is. Look at that. Just over here, you can see the rain clouds over there and that's where the sun's going to come down, unfortunately. It's time for them to move a bit yet though. Certainly won't spoil me night. This stuff What's is that? brilliant. Oh, fuck off. I actually love it. There was a little cloud of them in front of us and uh, sprayed a bit of this on me in the tent and nothing now. Back to the views. Who needs a telly? Podcast in this view. Right, it's about um, what, 10 past 7 or something now, so I'm going to stick the camera to record the sunset because, uh, yeah, I've been really wanting to see how this is going to come out. So, yeah, um, I'll get that set up and hopefully it's a nice one for you to watch. We'll see. <laughs> Not bad for a packet of uh, instant noodles and some stuff. Oh, I'll take that. Lovely day. Right, I think this will be me for tonight. Um, I'm wrapped up in all my warm gear. I've uh, I finished my beers. I'm just about to have that food you see me cooking. 
and then uh, yeah, just gonna get nice and cozy in the tent. There's no wind at all where I am, so I should be in for an alright night. I think I've I think I've placed it well. We'll see though. You'll see, <laughs> well, you'll literally see in the morning. So yeah, until then, have a good one, people. Thank you. Good morning. So I've got up, I've packed up already. As you can see, I was just pitched over there. No mess at all. So my dad just on his way up the hill, so I thought I'd best get up, uh, get everything packed away so he's ready whenever he gets to this point. Lovely morning. Slept so well, that, uh, that sleeping setup's absolutely brilliant. It's probably the warmest I've been in a tent. Um, yeah, definitely be uh, using that again over the winter. So yeah, I'm gonna wait and see how long it takes him to get up here and then uh, head on up this way. Right, so it turns out me and my dad are on completely different paths <laughs> in typical style. So I'm going to head up, well, just keep heading up towards the top and find him somewhere up there, hopefully. So he's headed, you know where I was at the crossroads yesterday, actually? He's gone up uh, the opposite way to which I came around, so... Yeah, I'll find him somewhere. Sun's come out anyhow. So I'm not that far off the top now, just over this brow up here. About 100, 100 metres or so to go. Still not sign of my dad, I'm assuming he's going to be coming from... That way, yeah, I've quite a climb though. That looked the much steeper side to come up. I kind of went zigzag my way up yesterday, so yeah, lovely morning though, absolutely gorgeous. See my out north east side over here. Little trig point at the top there, I'm not sure what that hill's called, I'd have to look on the map and then back over towards the homeland. Should get our first sight of the lake if it's not too um, not too cloudy once we get up there as well. It's a boggy old path. People have put markers on though so you can kind of see uh, the route up you need to take. Well that's me obviously at the top of Colfell, I'm <laughs> still waiting for my dad. I think uh, he's got it completely wrong and he's coming up from the entire different side of the mountain and I come up, never mind the next mountain along, <laughs> but we'll see. I think he's going to come from here, that's my guess, but it could be anywhere. Still he's had to walk through a river and I've passed no rivers, so <laughs> yeah, we'll see him soon. It really is a beautiful summer up here. The views you get like straight right over Cumbria. If it weren't for the clouds, I could see the Solway over this side. Back of the Pennines out towards the east over here. Just, just unreal. The, the lakes are just blocked off by um, by the clouds in the distance there, but yeah, you will be able to see all that as well. I recommend anybody coming up here. Fantastic view. Still not seeing a person again today as well. <laughs> not even my dad. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just so quiet. I thought there'd be more out, right, at least somebody by now. It's a bank all the Monday morning. There's no shops open or anything. It's the ideal morning for it, but yeah, brilliant walking conditions. He made it! <laughs> God knows which way you've come. I came that way. Well, so from that, I kept like halfway between here and that trig point and then up around. No, I know it's Sinking all the yeah, time. Yeah, I know. Feet are absolutely up to there, I don't know the best way to go back down either. I know the clouds are all back in. Yeah. Uh, probably. Well, I would. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> right, it turns into a bog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd stick to like the sides if you get what I mean when you get oh, to yeah. there. Uh. <laughs> 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 
Oh, well, that was where the ark came. Okay, see where the cows are, right over there? Yeah. Oh, well, there's a path in, in between there, so I'd gone right, right in there, over there, and then, so I'd taken the long, well, that's that little cairn. See, right in the top. There, that, that down there. That one uh, there, yeah, so I've seen for the ages, thinking that's where you were, but you were obviously just a little that, bit. That's behind. the one you can see from Carlisle that's as well, yeah. A, that, and that's just a dinky little thing. Yeah. <laughs> and you just, compared to the other one, but you can't ever see the other one. Which is why I got confused, because so that's where I thought that was cold, Philip. Yeah. <laughs> but it's obvious when you look at that tire. Yeah, when you, as soon as you get up there, it's very obvious, yeah. yeah. But I think I've, I've come from Hobart Gate, so I'd walked up that way, and I've seen that, so, oh. <laughs> where I'm going, and then realise when I go, oh, I got after, but I'm not doing that for doing that. So you I've did been, though. I've been all around, all around here now. Yeah, I can't find You've been all around here this morning, where it's on to it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Me and me, good shot, but I'm around the back of my head. That's a steep one. Yeah. Might just roll. <laughs> 